editing tomorrow's video in the background but the reason why I started my channel I have gotten it on Twitch and on TikTok a couple of times um why did I start my channel why is it is what why is the channel name is what it is um, the reason why it's Officer 1 King 81 actually is not only because it's my, what my channel's all about, um, but also at the same time it's for law enforcement. Um, because a lot of people, uh, in the past have called them negative remarks like, they shouldn't deserve to be ill, law enforcement shouldn't exist, stuff like that. So, my channel, on and my channel, my TikTok, and my Twitch are all the same name because that is something for law enforcement to look forward to. Uh, in their daily lives, I create content on my TikTok and Twitch. Um, and YouTube for the fact that law enforcement do matter and that is why my channel name is what it is and because I support law enforcement and once I get enough money I do plan on getting the blue thin line flag so yes my channel name is officer one community one not only because I do roleplay on the chat on the channel as you can see in the background, I'm editing tomorrow's video. But also, on top of that, it is a tribute to all of the officers that are in, uh, on, well, in duty now, or are a veteran from, uh, or retired, or to the fallen officers that got shot on duty. So, yes, my channel name does partially have like a dark part of it, but it is also because law enforcement do have a spot in this world as well. So, uh, to all the people who have asked me, and you do know why, my TikTok and my channel um, and Twitch are all Officer One King Eighty One. It is because I care for law enforcement. Law enforcement do have a place in this world. They, I know I'm probably going to get copyrighted for it, but hold on. Let me pull up TikTok and play a video that I've recently created on TikTok. Quick. So, it's basically a police tribute, um, and also it's another one of what it looks like and what it feels like that I did. This is the what it looks like part. It's what it looks like and what it feels like. The officers going down the street.
so um yes I do I do love law enforcement they deserve everything that they've done they deserve to go home to their families they deserve to be safe on their shifts and to be able to enjoy the retirement they have they deserve to live and they sacrifice their lives when they put on that uniform they are ready to sacrifice their lives not only for their family but for all the people um, that they are stopping from being killed or kidnapped or uh, their homes broken into so next time you guys see an officer or um, a law a part of law enforcement make sure to thank them for their service because they are ready to sacrifice their lives to save yours and not a lot of people realize this they put their lives on the line for you and their family um so yeah they they go through a lot of hell just for you to be able to sleep at night without having to worry about a criminal uh breaking into your home or threatening to kill your family so when they when they do do this they're putting on this strong face to make it look like they're not scared but in reality they are scared to die on duty and not being able to go home to their family um and to all the law enforcement on in service now I thank you all for your service and everything that you've done because if it wasn't for you guys and girls and in law enforcement now and that does not mean I do not wish that law, I do wish the military gets to come home too they deserve it but this is mainly towards law enforcement um I do wish that you guys do come home to your families and you guys do get to live another day um, I thank you for all of your service so that way we don't we don't get kidnapped or murdered or our families uh, threatened so or our homes broken into so for all the service that law enforcement has done I thank you all for the people that are in service now and for the people that will be in service in the future and the people that have retired from the service you guys have all put it towards a good cause and you guys deserve to be able to come home I even did one of I was a game admin in it um, but I was part of law enforcement and that's also the reason why I do LEORP all the time you rarely ever see Civ um, is because not only is that's the type of I what I like to do I have been studying California law 10 codes is what we use is California law um, have been studying California law 10 codes ever since I knew how to read so I've been studying them for probably about 12 years now and I started doing RP uh, even before I started my channel up I started doing RP about nine years ago so uh, I was doing RP you figure I was doing RP ever since I got my first console which was my PS3 oh well my very first console I could play multiplayer on which was my PS3 uh, ever since I got GTA 5 uh, me and a couple of friends would just hop into GTA uh, even before barrier bugs existed we would all do GTA 5 RPs um, and so I do that not only for uh, it being enjoyable to me but also so that way if real law enforcement wants to watch it and you know kind of uh, be able to sit down and relax after a long day of work and see someone else uh, doing their job a little bit in a game 
and see people just kind of having fun, um, but also kind of see someone like myself, who, uh, even in the RP, yes, I know I can if I can just respawn, okay, but I still, I still take it careful in the RP for the sake of I treat that like it's real life, uh, because of the fact that I do plan on joining law enforcement in the future. So, yes, um, I do wish that the law enforcement in the future, now, and the retired are able to come home to their families. Obviously, the retired have made it to that. They're able to stay home with their family forever now because they've made it through their health. But to the people in service now and the people that are going to be in service in the future, I thank you all for your service and everything that you guys go through, uh, putting your lives on the line for us when you don't have to, but you choose to put on that uniform every single day, you guys deserve to be treated with the utmost respect. Um, but I do take it careful in RP just as much as these officers in real life do take it careful because I do pretend in RP that my life is actually on the line uh, as an officer. So, yes, when uh, it might seem like, you know, in some of the calls that I do, it might seem like I'm hiding for some reason. Uh, or, you know, I'm always... I'm, I'm always being careful on what I do, when there, especially when there's a 1013 uh, going on at that moment. For all of you that don't know what a 1013 is, it means shots fired. So when there's a shots fired call going on, I make sure to be careful. And as you will notice in some of my videos, I whip the vehicle sideways. Uh, that is because if they're going to hit anything as I'm getting out, they are going to hit the door uh, or the engine block. Um, or my window as I duck down. So, uh, you kind of got to think of that. When you're being shot at, they usually hit your grill on the front of your vehicle, which, if you don't know, the radiator is right behind that, so you do really have to be careful. But, um, so, yeah. You, you do have to be careful a lot of times, and so in my videos, you'll see me whipping the vehicle sideways and me getting out really quickly or uh and felony stops or code 5 stops for uh, those of you who do know what uh, code 5 means um we sit behind our doors this is not only just for rp sakes this is safety reasons because your door can take on law enforcement vehicles they can take four to five shots uh like sniper shots, usually, because they are strong enough. Uh, they make law enforcement vehicles much stronger than the normal civvy vehicle. So the vehicles you drive nowadays, um, your normal vehicle, your everyday driver. Let's say one of you. Uh, let's say I have someone that is over eighteen right now. Okay, I'm hoping I do. Uh, that drives an Explorer or a Charger or a Vic. Okay take the metal that is on that vehicle and make it an inch thick now that is what law enforcement i do believe nowadays they still have it they add layers of that metal into the vehicle uh or uh some companies like dodge if they're making it a police cruiser they will add steel behind the outside so in between you and the other side of the door is three, uh, an inch thick of steel. Nothing but steel. And that's why police cruisers are heavier. That's why they also have interceptors. Uh, because their vehicles are supposed to be a little bit faster than the average vehicle. And also because of all that metal um, in the vehicles uh, to keep them safe. And also, why do they... Uh, what keeps their bar, their pit bars up, or their ram bars, and some people call them. Uh, they have a better suspension than we do. So we have a regular old suspension. If you put a, a 
ram bar on ours, the vehicle would just uh, drop, and that front end would be very low. It would be scraping the wheel. They have heavy duty suspension to keep themselves to keep the vehicle up. Um, so yes, their vehicles are more equipped to handle that stuff, and that is why I went get sideways because, and also on like felony stops, you know, of sitting behind that door, you're going to be a little safer because you have a chance to when they shoot, it's not going to hit you. It's going to hit that door. Uh, there's a lot of times they can shoot through the window. Those are not bulletproof on police vehicles. Not Those are really only bulletproof on military. Um, and they're not even bulletproof. They're just literally like two inches thick. And that's why they bulge out on the military vehicles. They're just two inches thick of glass. So if you break through that glass, then yes, the, those, those vehicles are not uh, bulletproof, but they're bullet resistance. Yes. Um, and they have military vehicles have extreme armor. But... Um, but yes, law enforcement, that, that is why I do sit behind the door, is for safety reasons. So that way, in the felony stop, if the guy gets out, or even in the vehicle, he puts a weapon out the window and shoots at my door, I'm safe. Um, but if you guys do have any, um, any more questions about my channel, or maybe even what some of the, why I do the things that I do in the videos, Feel free to ask me. Also, one more thing. Uh, BCFR. Those will not be coming out anymore. This is not BCFR. The, that is not BCFR. That is New York County. Now, the reason why is BCFR not going to be produced anymore? Well, there was some stupid stuff in the server. I pointed it out to the owner, and he... Um, you know, he thought, uh, he was like, well, no one else has a problem with it. Well, fair point to you. Actually, I know a couple people in the server that hate that. But I'm not going to say who. You can go through your whole list of members to find out who. Um, but yes, PCFR will not be produced anymore. I actually got this video uh, a few days ago on New York County. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get Discord to kind of pop the audio a lot more than it does because I notice when I'm editing the videos, you guys cannot really hear it. So I do have to figure that out. But in the meantime, you guys will just have to deal with barely hearing the audio because I cannot figure out how to get that working. And I do not know how to make my phone amplify the audio more for Discord so that you guys can hear it just as much as I could. Uh, the PlayStation, the webcam above, I did move down here. I put my phone right here for this video just to see if it will work. I'm going through editing still, so I have not seen if it amplifies the audio for you guys to see. I mean, I'm right next to it, but I, I have to make sure my audio is at the same level as well. So, we have to figure that out. But that is perfectly fine uh, for the time being uh, because once I get a new, once I get it, I uh, plan on doing 5M on my computer, so that way Discord is a little easier to adjust. So, yeah. Basically, I left BCFR because it was retarded. BCRR, if I wouldn't have been so inactive with the stuff that I had to do, I had so much stuff in my actual life that I was doing, but if I didn't do uh, what I was doing, then I probably would still be in BCRR, but yeah, it's complicated. I noticed my BCRR series was one of my most popular, and I'm so sorry for that. Uh, well, even though I think I only did like one or two episodes, but it was still still fun for sure uh but yes if you guys do have any more questions about why i do the stuff i do in rp um or just any more questions about the channel stuff like that uh go ahead feel free to ask 
the only thing I don't allow is any personal questions, like where I live, what's my PO, stuff like that. I do not like answering those. Um, but yes, if it's anything about the channel or um, how I RP, I don't know why I do it like that, feel free to ask. Without further ado, thank you guys so much. When you put it like that, like that, like that, like that, you right. Nigga think he got it like that when I act like that, alright, alright.